Hello, YouTubers. This is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 2015 Hot Wheels detailed casting review for the main line. And today, I'm excited to do this one. It is the DMC DeLorean. And here it is. Let's see if we get it to focus. Here's the DMC DeLorean. Uh, it's number 184. Okay. It is in the Hot Wheels race track aces and it is your m case super treasure hunt this is the regular and i actually was lucky enough to find the super in the wild and here's the super pretty cool the darker red spectra flame paint same tampo scheme but added stripes on the top uh, pretty awesome pretty excited to find that but anyway Real, here's the, the regular. This is the one we're reviewing today. So, <clears throat> regular vehicle, metal body, plastic base. Um, it does say that it is best for track, but uh, thankfully they didn't give it a frown. That's awesome. Um, so we got side tampos, um, which actually are the same tampos as an older Hot Wheels release called the Turismo and here's that um, this was uh, released in 1981 and was released a handful of times after that <clears throat> it was originally going to be a DeLorean but something happened with licensing and they had to alter the casting uh, anyway Joe Motor 49 shout out to you he made a great vid comparing uh, this and the Super Treasure Hunt the new one this year so uh, check him out uh, video is pretty cool um, so yeah there's that and here's this. Now, real car wise, that is after the DeLorean DMC 12, which is this vehicle right here. Um, DMC has a very interesting history, um, starting, of course, with John DeLorean, who actually was an engineer slash executive uh, that worked for General Motors. Um, he was in part, he designed, I believe, the Pontiac GTO, uh, the Firebird, uh, the Chevy Vega, just to name a few. Um, he left GM in 73 to start DeLorean Motor Company, so he wanted to start his own car company, living a dream. Um, and the first prototype for the DMC-12 was actually built in 1976. Um, the factory was actually then eventually built in 1978 in uh Dunmurray, Northern Ireland. Sorry if I mispronounced that town. Um, due to substantial financial backing from the Northern Ireland Development Agency. So they got substantial uh, financial backing to build that factory. Um, eventually, it finally went into production um, in 1981. Uh, production of the DeLorean uh, lasted roughly 21 months. And uh, about 9,000 cars were produced, uh, three of which actually were gold-plated. Um, two exist in museums today, and one's privately owned, but most of them had this stainless steel uh, body paneling, which is pretty cool. Um, so it only lasted about 21 months before the company went bankrupt in 1982 after uh, John was arrested for drug trafficking, which he was later acquitted, by the way. Um, but anyway, he's arrested, the company went bankrupt, all remaining parts were shipped to Columbus, Ohio, where a company called KPAC sold them uh, via mail order, uh, sold them retail, and also sold them uh, to wholesalers. Um, subsequently, six of these cars were rebuilt and used for the Back to the Future franchise, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to show you any pictures of that, we'll go over that when we go over the Back to the Future car. Um, and then in 1997, an entrepreneur purchased all the remaining inventory of parts and started DeLorean Motor Company, Texas. Um, and then was, was, was selling parts for a long time. And then in 2007, actually started selling completely uh, built cars, built from new old stock parts uh, with some, some engine upgrades and stuff and some other options. And uh, prices start for them at around $57,000. So you can get a brand new DeLorean basically today uh, built from basically brand new parts. So that's pretty neat. 
Um, anyway, there's a long history, a brief long history on DeLorean, DeLorean Motor, Motor Company. Um, so if you want to read more about it, there's tons of it on, tons of information online. Uh, but anyway, casting history wise, it uh, first appeared as the 2010 new model number 15 in three colors. You got it in a silver, in a gold, and a black. Which, uh, there's your stainless steel model, there's your limited edition gold ones, where there are only three of those built. Uh, and then there's the black one. So that was 2010. And 2011, it also got a mainline release as number 141, faster than ever number one in silver. Then in 2012, we got a sweet Hot Wheels Boulevard release in the Ahead of Its Time sub-series. Um, pretty sweet, nice real riders, looks a lot like uh, the Super, it's the same wheels. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, just a really cool casting. I wish I would have collected Hot Wheels at this time because I would definitely would have got picked up a few of these. Um, and then that same year, so this was a good year for that, 4,000 of those were released. Which this was an RLC piece, um, so only 4,000 of these were produced, and it was uh, it actually has opening door features, which is pretty cool, uh, pretty neat thing. And then in 2013, it got a special release in the Hot Wheels Jukebox series, number 24. And then in 2014, last year, it got two colors, uh, one in red and one in uh, silver. And that was number 33 in the Hot Wheels City Speed Team. So to summarize, uh, this vehicle's been in the main line four times since its debut in 2010. It got a real rider release in the Boulevard series, and of course as well as the Super Treasure Hunt for this year. Um, it got one RLC release, and it got that uh, jukebox special release. So that's pretty much it. So anyway, here's your DeLorean. Um, and as always, we're going to rate the casting on a scale of one to three stars. One being I don't like it, two being it's okay, and three being I really like it. And of course, the DeLorean gets a three from me. I don't know. I don't know anybody that really doesn't like this car. Even though it was kind of an underperformer, the real car was. Um, it's just very, very cool looking, very iconic since it was in the Back to the Future series. Our trilogy and just a very very cool car anyway let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you very much for watching and have a great day